Well, welcome back on this snowy Monday morning. If you haven't looked out yet, it has been snowing, well, at least out here in Forkland. The ground is getting covered. Um, so today we are going to start working on a 3D project. Last week you researched some free from some 3D artists. Um, you made an invite to one of their gallery openings. And now you're going to actually make a 3D project. So you'll go to today's date, open it up, boo, and you have several different options, like lots of options. So first off, you can pick from any one of these. Now, um, some of these require more supplies than others, so you also may need to factor in what you have access to. But remember, you can get really creative with these. Um, some sticks and some foil will get most of these projects done. So really think outside the box, and you can create some really nice things with what you already have. Um, so one of the artists you looked at was Alexander Calder. And what he makes are mobiles and other kinetic art, art that moves. So you could do a colder inspired mobile. Um, you could use a stick and leaves and fishing line and anything that you have sort of laying around outside. Um, you could use a coat hanger. If you've got beads laying around, you could use those. Bottle caps cut out shape out of construction paper. And here's some links to some example videos and some projects. Here's how to make a figure sculptor like Alberto Gimetti. You can make uh, one of his twisty ladies or men. And here's some, again, some links to some different instructional videos. Here's some idea of some things you can do. Um, here is some Henry Moore negative space carving. Um, if you are comfortable using something like a pocket knife and a bar of soap and you have your parents' permission and you carve away from your body, you can make a little soap carving. You could do something like that. Um, you could also do something like um, use some food. If you've ever wanted to play in your mashed potatoes, get out that leftover Thanksgiving mashed potatoes and make a nice negative sculpture out of that. You could also do something like Jeff Koons does. You can get your hands on some balloons and try to turn those into some different shapes. You could also use fabric and things like that. Um, if you've got a whole bunch of little junk that no one's using, buttons, all sorts of things, you can glue those down onto a shoebox and then paint those a solid color to create a treasure chest. And last, Mary Rose Young, she does all these great, fantastic pottery pieces. Get yourself an old chipped, nasty mug and repaint it. Remember, though, once you paint it with acrylic paint, you, it is no longer safe to eat or drink out of it. So there's a whole big list of projects you can pick from, but there is more. You also have the option of doing the upcycling project. You get to pick. I just want you to work in 3D, so I don't really care what 3D project you're in the mood to make. Now, upcycling, remember, is when you take trash and you don't recycle it. You upcycle it. You turn it into something else. You can check out that video if you want about how to take trash. Oh, what is this doing? I don't want to watch this. Um, you can check out these videos on how what exactly upcycling is. So what you're going to do is you're going to take trash, plastic bottles, and turn it into something beautiful and functional. Your requirements are that you're going to manipulate a plastic bottle. You're going to be creative. You're going to have great craftsmanship, and it's going to be aesthetically pleasing. That just means it's going to look good. Check out Pinterest and YouTube. Here are a few quick examples of how they took jugs, turned them into little fairy houses, turned them into bird feeders 
turn them into cute little planters. Turn them into masks. Get an old CD, get really fancy. Um, you could just use the caps of things to create works of art. Um, I love these because they're a little Christmas themed and I love Christmas. But they cut off the bottom of the two liters and made them look like snowflake ornaments. This whole wreath is made out of plastic bottles. So lots of fun options. And um, if you've got lecture toilet paper rolls laying around since it's the year of 2020 um you can also check that out so then i just want to show you too right here you'll also find how you will be scored on this project no matter which project you do the rubric is the same because obviously there's a lot of wide open opportunities within these projects so you can look over this see how i am going to score you and that will help you figure that out ah, i don't want to do this go back go back and then what you're going to do today your only assignment for today is you're going to fill this out and you're just going to tell me what project you're going to do i'm going to do a plastic bottle wreath I am going to make a twisty figure. Just tell me which one um, you're going to do after you look over those lists. Start gathering your supplies and get started on that. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do.